Hi, I was one thousand of primary six from Ewing Primary School. For this time, we are at ordinary differential equations. In this ordinary differential equations, for the last lesson, we have a question, and we use method one. So for this time, we're going to use method two. Let me just tell you briefly what is method one. So method one, where we can say as well, the order reduction, because it actually just reduce the order. So at first, this is the first order and second order. Then after that, we made it just first order. Then we use IF, the integrating factor. Then total differentiation. And for one part, we use integral by parts. And, well, we can say as solving algebraic equations. Then after that, just integration. That's it. For this time, we are going to use another method. But I will need to erase this part. So I'll need to record down the answer. So I'll just write it down here first. Okay, so I'll just erase this part. For this time, we're going to use method 2. In method 2, let me just tell you, we are going to use the characteristic equation. But for this characteristic equation, doesn't seem like it since it's not homogeneous. But beware. Here, yeah, first order, second order. Well, constant coefficients, linear, non homogeneous. But wait, what if we consider a homogeneous case? So let me first write this out. You can say it's YG. G stands for general. That means like all solutions. That are possible. B. Y homogeneous. So this YH is for a homogeneous case. Because after that, let me just tell you, it's plus YP. P for particular. So particular means only need sine x. But if you want a general solution, then you have to consider what if one part of this become zero. Well, the other part stays to, com to become sine x. So you have to consider all those cases. So that means that this part will have to split it into two different cases to consider. Let's first try. So y homogeneous. Y homogeneous. Then we saw first that this part be zero. So that means you have to be zero. So the method that we are using here is a characteristic equation. So this is a characteristic equation. Well, it will be simple. So you can also still write the net y b. E to the power of lambda x. Then e to the power of lambda x, you can choose to write it. That means when you sub this inside, wait, here's a two. You get it like this. Then from these parts, e to the power of lambda x, you can simplify them. Now this has to be zero. So this part would be simple. But you can, well, 
You can better understand it if you factorize it. So when you factorize it, it's like this. Now you can clearly find that lambda has two solutions. Or you can say as roots. So lambda 1, 0. Lambda 2 is a negative 2. Like this. Now you know of these two lambdas. You can straight away find y. So for this part, y would be c1. Well, e to the power of 0 is 1. So that part you don't write. Wait, this part is a c2. It's the second arbitrary constant. Then after that, here is e to the power of negative 2x. So at first, this is lambda 1x, here is lambda 2x. So you write it as this. Wait, and this part is h. Okay? So this is just the homogeneous part. This is part 1, or case 1. This part 2, yp. This for the particular. That means it's this. So for this part, what kind of method can we use? Let's first think. How can we get sine x? Sine x, sine and cosine. What they differentiate? They just convert to each other. First derivative, cosine becomes sine, sine becomes cosine. Second derivative, it just changes. So that means sine and cosine, we need both of them to check that we can get this sine x. So we can let. What do we let? We let this y particular be, but we don't know how much of this sine, how much of this cosine. So we we'll need to let this part. Okay, we let it be like this. Then y prime. From this part, you get like this. Then y prime prime, second derivative. Second derivative, you realize both of them have negative. Okay, well, we just need first derivative and second derivative, that's it. Now we put these inside, and it actually becomes like an equation. So two of these y prime, you have to be really careful, two of this. And this will have to be equal to sine x. So with all of these, we can go and find a and b. Well, you can call this by comparing coefficients, or you can say determining the coefficients. So sine here, coefficient is 1. What do we have? We have negative a, we have negative 2b. That means negative a minus 2b is 1. Cosine x, here we don't have any. That means the coefficient of cosine x at last is 0. So that means 
2a minus b gives a negative is 0. Now here are these two equations. Two constants and, well, we can say the variables and two equations. So that would be simple. So you can choose to find that b is equal to 2a from this part. Then you put this inside. So what you'll get is a will be negative 1 over 5. Then you can put this inside and find b. So that means b is a negative 2 over 5. Then from this part, you put it in here. These two, you both, these two, I mean, you both put it inside here. Negative and 1 over 5, they're both common. So you can take both of them out at once. Here's just two. So this is what you get. Now this part and this part, we both put it in here. From this part, once you check, they are actually the same. Well, how is that? Well, how is it the same? These two parts will confirm the same. Just that the constant just use a different number, but actually it's still the same. So, right now, let's make this comparison. Firstly, I want to ask a question. Which of these methods is a special method? Okay, I'll give you some time to think. Okay, let me tell you. This method is the special method. This first method. Well, how is it the special method? You find if you add y. For example, you just change the question a little bit. You add a y. Then this first method will not work. Since you cannot find this if. So that means this is actually special. But even if you added the y, this second method, you can still work it out. So that means this question is actually a very, very special question. And what's so special about this question? Well, it's just that here, perfectly, it's first derivative and second derivative. Well, just like consecutive and only two. Only if these orders are consecutive and there's only two of them, then you can use this method. If not, you have to stick to this method. So in this second method, what do we use? So this part is the general solution for this whole thing. That is a second order constant coefficient, linear, non-homogeneous differential equation. And in fact, it's ordinary differential equations. This part is the general solution for, this is a linear, constant coefficient, second order, homogeneous differential equation. And this part is, but be careful, this is a, the reason why it is a particular solution. This is a particular or special solution for this, that is, second order, constant coefficient, linear, non-homogeneous differential equation. Although this, you still get the general solution for the second order linear 
and constant coefficient and non-homogeneous ordinary differential equations. So this method is special, but you get a general solution. This well, just a general method. So in this lesson, I hope that you are clear so far. So if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you for your watching.